Faculty at Bell Pre High School are excited for students to return tomorrow. Our Chase Campbell talked to faculty members about what they have in store for school this year. It's the day before students return to Bell Pre City Schools and faculty are busy preparing. I don't know if you're ever truly ready, uh, but you know, we've done everything we can. Um, the teachers are excited, they're, they're getting their rooms together, putting their fin uh, finishing touches on them today and uh, students are back tomorrow and we're gonna hit the ground running. Belpre High School Principal Tyler Shad says teachers officially return to work the day before students return to class. But he says many teachers have been at the school for months getting their classrooms and course plans ready for the year. Shad says a lot of effort has also gone into preparing new programs and course offerings for this school year. We added um, a new STEM teacher. We have an awesome STEM center with 3D printers and you know all the all the bells and whistles in it that was totally grant funded. So you know we're really looking forward to that, especially. The high school's new STEM center offers students hands-on experience with 3D printing, laser cutting, and robotics, among other things. It's a new addition to the school made possible by Ohio University's Kids on Campus program. Belpre High School STEM Career Coordinator Jamie Erb says the STEM Center gives students an opportunity to learn career building skills in a fun hands-on way. The skills that they will learn such as coding is a really big thing. Um, the small scale CNC type machining with the laser cutters um, and that kind of thing are skills that um, are big in the world of manufacturing and industry right now and um, there are tons of jobs out there. The STEM Center isn't the only new program opportunity for students to learn valuable life skills at Belpre High School. The school is also offering a new home economics type class with elective teacher Debbie Edgar. It's called Taste in Textiles and it's supposed to be punny. So they will be doing like exploratory home ac. So they're gonna learn to sew, hand sew first, and then how to sew on the sewing machines. We have an embroidery machine back there, so they'll learn to embroidery. And then we have a small kitchen where we'll be working on basic cooking things. Edgar says the class will do some work with a chef from Ohio University's hospitality program. Edgar says pretty much all the equipment and resources the taste and textiles class will use, including its sewing machines, were donated by members of the community. In Belpre, Ohio, Chase Campbell, WTAP News.